The end of soul meetings of the Phoenix Mission Science Operations Center at the University of Arizona are reserved for evaluating the previous day's scientific findings, which come in a range of subjects. But recently, Dr. Tom Pike of London's Imperial College presented a set of observations that were interesting, to say the least. One of my responsibilities has been leading the geology science theme group. And what we do is really part of the, the, the fun stuff, which is looking at all of the images that are coming down and trying to interpret what we're seeing and what we should be getting next. So the instrument teams work tremendously hard on downlinking their data, getting the data back from Mars and putting it into images. And they don't have much time for anything else. We then get a chance to look at those images and if, we're, if we can think fast enough and get, come to conclusions fast enough, for the very next day we can tell the ISEs, the, guy who, the guys who produce the code for the next day's operations, that this is what we'd really like to see. So you'll have seen some of this before. Um, if we go to the next slide. And so it so was when we, um, we were looking at these images of the first trench that had been dug and wondering what this white material had been that uh, I fi first started to look at uh, what was happening in the shadows. And the shadows were very, very dark. And so on this particular day, after the first meeting, but before the second meeting, there was about an hour and a half to look at this. And as I was coaxing the contrast on these images, I could see that there was white material inside. And if we followed it across from one sole, from one Mars day to another Mars day, these white particles looked like they were getting smaller. And this has been one of the clues that what we are looking at, a very strong clue, that what we were looking at is ice. But this finding, like any other, is subject to thorough analysis and discussion by the science team. Oh, you've got to be very self-critical here because there's so many things that are changing. Every day on Mars, you can never quite repeat the operation. The sun is not quite in the right place. Um, if we sprinkle on one substrate with the optical microscope, it's not going to be quite the same as it is on another substrate. So you don't want to jump to the ending of this story too quickly. And, and the, the story won't end. There's much more to find out about the ice. But of course, one of the important parts of this entire mission is to identify that we've got to the ice in the first place. And seeing sublimation is very, very strong evidence. Similarly, there's two. I mean, from 21 to 22, there.